Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I'm gonna be switching it up once again by trying a new curly hair technique. And by new, this is not new at all, but it's new to me, and that is finger coiling. Finger coiling will give you that perfectly defined curl, but it just takes a lot of time. I'm quite lazy when it comes to my hair. I barely use more than one product. But as you guys know, this year is all about switching it up. So I'm gonna switch up my routine and actually just do a whole routine by one of my curl friends. So today I'm gonna be trying my curl friend, Chloe's curly hair routine, AKA Frizz and Frills. She's not the creator of finger coiling, but she's someone who probably does it the best. Like her curls are always popping, the volume, the definition, like it's insane. But what's also insane is how long she takes to do her hair. So this is probably gonna be my longest curly hair routine ever, but I'm also gonna challenge her to switch it up and not finger coil and do my lazy routine. So make sure after this video, you go watch her video on her YouTube channel and see how that turns out. Let's get started. I'm gonna be playing her video so she could like walk me through this. I just washed my hair. I use the Curlsmith scalp recipe line, including the Super Slip Prebiotic Primer. Then I went in with the Wash and Scrub Detox Probiotic Shampoo, and then the Postbiotic Calming Conditioner. As you can see, they're empty. I used all of them. Do you guys know how hard it is for me to actually complete a product because you know how many products I have. So the fact that these two are empty and this is like down here says a lot about how much I genuinely love these products. Now today's video is sponsored by Curlsmith. These are also some favorite products of Chloe's. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up her video and it looks like the very first thing that she does is apply a leave-in conditioner to wet hair. So let me take off my rings. We are going to be using these fingers today. So for my leave-in, I'm going to be using the Curlsmith Weightless Air Dry Cream. Now I did notice in Chloe's routine, she doesn't scrunch in her leave-in. She just kind of rakes it through and then just leaves it there. I always like tend to scrunch naturally, so I'm gonna try not to scrunch. Oh! Dang it, see, I always scrunch. I don't even do it on purpose. Oh, this stuff smells so good. This is for all curl types. It has hyaluronic acid in it, so that also will give you that moisture. We, we know hyaluronic acid probably from like our skincare products. Well, now it's in our hair products. So now my leave-in is in smelling fantastic. I do wanna know one thing that's different between my hair and Chloe's hair. Chloe has very thick hair, I have very fine hair. She has high porosity hair, I have normal or low porosity hair. She also has color treated hair, which is probably why her hair is high porosity, or I have like some highlights, but definitely not as much color as her. So her product can really soak up product and moisture much better than mine can. She could have a lot of product and still get that volume, where too much product for me would just weigh it down. So in this video, she's using a leave-in conditioner and a cream and a gel using a lot of product. So although I am down to switch it up, I also know what works for my hair and what doesn't. So I'm going to be skipping the cream styler because I just know that's just too much product for my hair, but I am gonna be using the same product that she did, which is the Curl Defining Styling Souffle as my gel on top. So first of all, did you guys know that there are jumbo size of the Curlsmith product? If you don't know, now you know. <laughs> this is their 16 fluid ounce bottle of the Curl Defining Styling Souffle, their styling gel. The jelly is like a little googly <laughs> consistency. It's kind of like if a cream and a gel made a baby, it'd be a souffle. Ooh, this stuff has great slip too. And like gels aren't even supposed to have slip. <laughs> Chloe does also use a brush when styling. So I'm gonna get the Tangle Teaser, same brush as she's using in this video, and she likes to brush each section out and away from her hair. So she goes like this, and then she brushes it up and away, like so. I will agree it is better to brush up and out that way your hair is not being pulled down, weighing it down, this will give it more volume and get your hair away from your roots. Like that. 
Oh, look at that. The brush alone is already giving it some nice little ringlets. But let's start finger coiling. I'm gonna take this little piece right here. And I'm just gonna, like so. The smaller the pieces, the better. Cause I don't wanna end up looking like Shirley Temple. Three, four. Ooh, those are already looking really pretty. But I've only done two, I'm gonna be here for days. <laughs> She's also so fast. I gotta get faster. I will master this, Chloe, I will master. Wow, look at that. This is kind of fun. One, two, three, four, five. Chloe, seriously? You do every single one? What time is it? It is 12 o'clock exactly. Let's see how long this takes me to actually complete. So you're thinking like, okay, why do we do this? This is to get like a really perfectly defined curl, but it also is good to train your curls this way. So if you are someone that is recovering from heat damage, color damage, and your curls are just a little wonky, the more you do this, it'll make them remember that this is how they're supposed to look. So you're training them to always come back to this curl pattern. All right, there's my first little section. That looks really good. Okay. Only 5,000 more hairs to go. <laughs> Speed it up a little bit. Yeah, see, I get stuck. Man, Chloe does it so flawlessly. Definitely takes practice. So I guess the key here is to have a loose wrap on it. If you go too tight, you'll get stuck. So you wanna keep it loose. Got it. Grab the hair, peace sign, and then wrap it around your middle finger. Peace, wrap it around. Peace, world peace. Oh, that's looking good. You see those little curls? All right, Chloe, you might be onto something, girl. So after the finger coiling, she gets a little bit more gel and she scrunches. It's a lot of product. <laughs> but now I can finally scrunch. Ooh, they're definitely juicy though. And time, it is now 12.20. So a good 20 minutes finger coiling versus my probably 60 second styling technique. But I can tell that my curls are going to look very defined just by looking at them right now. Chloe's last step is to use a microfiber towel to then scrunch out any excess moisture, and then we're going to diffuse. So I'm gonna use this towel right here by The Perfect Hair Care. And let's just do a nice little scrunch. This is also new for me. I usually don't scrunch after I apply a product, but let's see what this does. Works for Chloe. Now, does she wait to diffuse or do we just go right into it? Oh, we go right into it. Okay, let me get my diffuser and see what happens. So right now my curls are probably about 75% dry. They are extremely shiny and juicy and they look so moisturized and defined. Definitely not getting any dryness vibes today, but I'm gonna keep diffusing to see how big I can get it, flipping my hair from side to side. And then once it's dry, I'll do a little bit of separating and some picking and we'll see how it looks. Um, do you guys see this curl? <laughs> This is how Chloe's hair looks when she finger coils, and this is how my hair looks when you finger coil. Like it literally looks like those cookies with the chocolate on the inside. So perfect though. The weightless air dry cream and the souffle are definitely BFFs. So here are the final results. Definitely a different look than what I'm normally used to. I usually wear my hair really big, but if you wanna talk about perfect definition and moisture that is exactly what my curls are giving me like look at look at this whole little 
crew right here. These ringlets are insane and they're just all over the place. There's not a speck of dryness on my hair. So in conclusion, I'm very glad that I prefer my lazy routine over finger coiling because now I can stay lazy. <laughs> but I do absolutely love how the Curl Defining Styling Souffle and the Weightless Air Dry Cream paired together. Great slip, great moisture, great hold. It's not crunchy, but it does have a nice like hold that I feel like will last me throughout the week. One thing that Chloe did mention is that she probably can get beautiful results without finger coiling, but her wash days last longer when she does finger coil. So we're talking about a couple days to like six or seven days if finger coiled. So if you have a bigger, looser curl powder than me, I definitely think you will get even better finger coiling results than I do. If you're struggling with some parts that are heat damage or just aren't really curling as well, I do also suggest finger coiling for you because you can train your curls to become more defined over time. The more you do it, the more your curls are going to learn what to do. If you have my curl pattern like a 3C or tighter, I don't see any point in finger coiling. So if you want your hair to be a bunch of little ringlets like this, it's gonna look really pretty, but you're not gonna get any volume because it's creating a very tight small curl. So now I'm really excited and curious to see how Chloe's hair is gonna turn out using the same exact products, but without finger coiling. So I'll make sure to link her video in the description box as well. If you guys wanna get any of the Curlsmith products that I use today, make sure you use my promo code Bianca10 to save you some money if you are a first time Curlsmith owner. So let me know what you guys do. Do you finger coil? Do you just rake it through? Are you team volume or team definition? I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.